couple top ten teams right, and, right, and, yeah. and, and you know be a play away from another one mm -hmm. and then lose to teams that, that uh, I feel um, you know we're as good as at right. least you know that uh, um, it's different it's different than anything I've been involved with you know and, and what it does is it gives you a it's harder really because it gives you that taste like hey we can do this mm -hmm. we can beat anybody in the country but not if, not if we don't uh, play our best for every single play mm -hmm. you know, like take away a couple plays tonight but you can't do that that's in football you know we, we, we played a long time well and then we let up a couple times and, and it you know one of the factors why we lost the game. Can can you put your finger at all as to to why this year has that been flowed like that? Mm. No, no. You know I haven't been here before, so I know you know in the Big Twelve, in particular with us, we're always going to have high flying offense, and it's always going to be exciting. Um, you know, just from my perspective, we're working to establish a defensive culture that people can count on all the time. And that's, uh, uh, I wish that happened overnight, but you know, it doesn't, it takes time. For you then, you know, you're a few weeks away from signing your first class since yeah. you've gotten here. How important are these next couple weeks for you? Oh man, it's, you know, not going home, you know? I'm not going home, I'm staying right down here in Texas and uh, hitting the road to make sure we secure our signings because they're extremely important to our defense and how we continue to improve. Being in a, a new recruiting environment for, for the first time here, what's uh, what has that challenge been like for you? Well, um, it's been fun, you know, because we get to recruit Texas and Oklahoma predominantly, and uh, high school football is, is serious there, you know, and, and, and um, you can get right to the coaches. You know, when you recruit in the Northeast and some other places, you got to get through a lot of hurdles, or other areas around the country, you got to get through a lot of hurdles just to get to the coach. It's just the way it is, it's different. So it's been um, uh, great here because football is important at the high school level where we recruit, and Oklahoma State's got a great name, and um, you know it's easy to get in the door and get in front of people. Captain punches face back, face back penalty. Just for him to kind of go through these same repetitions, how bothersome is that? Oh, it's just it's really bothersome because he's a good player, but we haven't we haven't gotten through to him yet. But you know we you know said, hey, that's not acceptable, and, you know, can't do it because it hurts the team, and uh, we got to fix it, so we just got to keep working on it in practice and, and uh, trying to get him into a better position. As a, as a defense, I think you have five interceptions for the year as a whole. Obviously, A.J. dropped that one. There was one earlier in the game. Is that is there any mental hurdle, mental hurdle involved with that? No, no I know, because I don't, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't uh, think about it until you told me. Now I know. Thanks, right? <laughs> I try not to think about it right now. You know, we're always just trying to focus on the next play, the next game. I think when you get those other things, you're right, in your head, all they can do is hurt you. Or even if you had a bunch of interceptions, you'd be like, ooh, look at us, you know, patting yourself on the back. That ain't it. They get the ball, no matter what the circumstance, we got to stop them. That's it. It's the bottom line.